Hey guys, it's Tequisha from Our Freedom Song. Don't let this hoodie fool you. It is very much so supposed to be 90 degrees out here today. So who knows what the real feel is going to be like. So yes, I am sweating already, but I am out here. And because it is September, I have a fall on the brain. Even though I can't feel it in the air, I am like feeling it in my heart. And I'm like, you know what? I need to get out and get into the yard, get into the garden, and see what I can do to, to just clean things up. And so that brings me back to the garden porch. I am on the garden porch today. And if you've been following along for a, a good amount of time right now, you know that um, we put this together pretty much for free out of resources that were just around in our yard. And um, I've kind of just left it for a couple months I feel like now as I've just been focusing on other things but with fall in the air not literally but with fall in the season coming <laughs> I'm like I'm going to get over here and I'm going to clean this area up and make it more fall-ish so if you have seen my videos lately you know that I've had this piece of wood just sitting and I want to tell you about that but before I do I was over here and I was about to weed in between the, this um, rock here. And before I pulled it out, I was like, let me sniff it because ain't nothing like gardening. If you can't like take a piece of leaf or whatever and smell it and sniff it and rub between your fingers to see what it really is. Right. I took a piece off and I smelt it. And you guys know what I smelled. I smelt time. Remember when I was putting this porch together? I totally messed up and I put the seeds down um, before I should have. And then I was like, oh, no, uh, you know, they're going to wash away. I swept a lot of them away. And I was like, well, I'll try again whenever the cooler weather comes, which I am going to do. I'm going to still plant more of that creeping thyme in this area. But I picked off a leaf and y'all, it is time. And I couldn't be more happier about that. Let me so show you. Here it is in all its glory. I picked this off and it smelled so wonderful. And so then I started to scour the area to see where else I had little pieces of thyme popping up out of, of the sand. Believe it or not, I could see little pieces. So what my plan is today, so I have some little pieces of thyme, but I also have some weeds over here that I need to um, go ahead and go ahead and get rid of. I came over here to just blow away all of the pine straw that's been collecting over here. Just get this area freshened and cleaned up. And if you have seen this sitting here, this is this piece of wood I've been telling you about. So I found this on the side of the road and I was like, I'm going to use that because you know, I wanted something to cover up that window. And so I've been just kind of thinking about how I can do it. And I really just think I have to cut those legs off to be able to attach it there. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut those legs off and I'm finally going to see if it is going to work in that area. But I think that it would just be so cute right over there. And so that is what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this area and see if we cannot bring this to life. Continue on with the vision. Anybody ever got tired and just stopped? That was me. That was me over here. <laughs> but I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to see if we can't make this feel more fallish for the fall garden. I got some soil here that I'm going to be filling in my cracks over there and preparing it so that I can plant seeds when I get them. I can plant some more creeping thyme. Since it is cool, it should do a lot better as far as growing and so that's exciting. I also have a really great find that I want to show you. So it was a while back and I found this for free as well on the side of the road and I was just thinking like, ah oh, man, I wonder if I could bring it back to life. I wonder if I could use it and I think it's going to be perfect for the garden porch. So this is what I found and I'm like, it has so much potential can't you just see like a nice little fire, a nice little contained fire pit? I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm the queen of 
spray paint. And so I think I could spray paint this and put it on the garden porch. Pull this off, y'all. It would literally be the porch of free because everything on there so far has been resources um, that I did not have to pay for. And so that's really exciting. I'm so excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work to see if we cannot make this happen today. Okay, so I got that cut and it's going to fit perfectly there. I just have to get some hooks to screw in to the wood and I think I'll be able to hook it right on there. And so that is my hope. I'm going to go ahead and um, blow all these things away and also weed in this area, but it is quickly getting so much better, which makes your girl happy. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished putting some soil in between the cracks um, and my intention is going to be to plant more of the creeping thyme and not only that, to fill underneath the bamboo eventually whenever it's growing season for it. But I'm going to put all the wonderful things that so many of you have suggested to fight against these mosquitoes such as lemongrass. I think it would be so nice to have pots of those things underneath the bamboo beds or bamboo benches so that it doesn't necessarily take up real estate but it's still going to do its thing i would love to have a couple pots of lemongrass like sitting up there um, and some different things to just ward off the bugs and also to add beauty so it's going to be like a triple win Okay, so what I've just done is staple some fabric cloth in the inside of this piece of wood. I chose fabric cloth versus even like a tablecloth, you know, like one of those plastic ones that, you know, repels water or whatever, because I want it to be able to dry and I don't want anything else over here holding on to water. Okay, so this is what I picked up from the hardware store. I'm hoping that this is going to work. I screw it in the piece of wood up there and place them on. And then I was thinking that I could just slide something through all three of them to secure it. Um, so let's see if it works. So that did not work the way I envisioned <laughs> because this is too long for the eyes to go into here. So I'm going to have to take the, um, the jigsaw, the jig saw and cut these off and then just use this part to set the eyes on. This is called a reciprocating saw. So I'm going to use it to cut those off. Okay, so <laughs> chopping these off were not enough. I actually need to do another cut on this, um, on this, but that will make sure that it is going to be well. Okay, so technically that worked, but this is 
way too much of a gap. I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking I was going to be able to do it um, and it be not so much of a gap. That's not what I was thinking. You see the sweat? This is sweat from thinking hard. Look, I just figured it out. Figured out how to close the gap by <laughs> no brainer, right? Um, pulling it all the way through and then with the eyes I stuck a bamboo through so it would help it to um, kind of stay in place I could probably use a piece of bamboo that's a little fatter but the idea is definitely there and it's definitely working okay so Princeton moved the ladder so we could see better like that is so much so what I was hoping for right there, it makes sense to me anyway. <laughs> I can definitely, definitely get used to seeing that there. It works! Okay, so now let's see if we can't bring this back to life with some spray paint. Okay, you guys, as always, I'm using this rust stop. I absolutely love this spray paint and black. Um, this is the same brand that I use on um, the file cabinet planters and it is holding up so well. So I also use this inside my fireplace, so um, inside the house. So I love this stuff and I will continue to use it. It has not proven itself unworthy yet. As simple as that was, this black paint gave this little fire pit so much life okay so now that the hot and sweaty part is over i get to do my favorite thing and that is make it pretty i have this um planter right here that i actually um hand painted last year and i had some plants in the house um, with this it's um it's very durable it's like a plastic or something like that um and anyway i painted it and it's been outside for a little while and it's doing well and so i think i'm going to put this over in this area and also take some of the plants from off the porch because i want to start thinking about fall decor on the porch and so i would love to put some of the thriving plants um, that are over there onto the garden porch and then i can just focus on fall for our front porch sounds like a plan so i'm going to see what i can come up with So I'm wondering if you are as blown away as I am. The difference a day makes. It's so different over here and I absolutely love it. I feel like I can just come over here and sit and hope for fall. I love the way this turned out. It's just perfect. I can already see and imagine. I'm so um, amazed at the things that um, I get to turn from trash into something that's like so useful and so good. And I can just visualize my family just sitting out here when it's cool enough to and roasting some marshmallows and just enjoying each other's company in this beautiful quaint little area like my heart is full i'm so grateful for each and every one of you that chose to journey along with us today i appreciate your love and your support thank you guys so much and i look forward to seeing you next time